Hey butterflies, it's your girl Pam. Today we're going to talk about some changes and some additions that I've added to my life to make my weight loss journey a little bit easier for myself. So um, I would love to share those with you. So stay tuned. So the first thing I want to talk about today is going to be multivitamins. I had to realize that this was beneficial even though I do not like taking pills. Um, but I needed to add that nutritional value into my life and so guess what? We added it into the pill box and <laughs> so it will be taken every day. I just got a store brand and I made sure that the labels matched to the one that it was compared to and they matched exactly. So. I'm good. They are big horse pills. No, I don't like taking them, but I get me a big glass of water in the morning, like I always do, and I take them with my blood pressure medicine, and we haven't had any problems. Next is fish oil gummies. <laughs> Who thought at this age I would be enjoying some gummies? But they are really, really good. Our nutritionist suggested that we um, take these every day to level out our insulin. And so, you know, there's a whole lot of different um, factors that are very beneficial to your health. Um, it helps with brain fog. It helps with um, prevent heart disease. It helps cut down on the chances of getting Alzheimer's. So there are a lot of different factors that, you know, um, kind of reached out to me because it's a part of my history, my family history. So I'm really enjoying taking these and these are not so bad because they're gummy. Next is my Garmin Connect. It's like a Fitbit. It counts your steps. And so I use this as almost like a challenge to myself to make sure that I get so many steps in a day. Uh, I had to dig it out of my drawer. I had it for years, a couple of years. But I've enjoyed putting it back on and, you know, getting on the treadmill or just if I'm not going to work out, if it's a rest day, then making sure that I keep my steps up. So number four is I've added more protein. We talked about this a little bit after I went to the nutritionist, but I can really, really tell the difference as far as me staying fuller. Um, and so with my age range, um, I should be doing 15 plus grams in the morning, which will allow me not to snack um, as much. Really, I haven't snacked at all. Um, in the afternoon, I might have a little snack, maybe some crackers and cheese or something like that, or maybe a piece of fruit. But for the most part, I don't get hungry. And usually, I go and work out on my lunch, which I don't go to work out until after I get off of work, which is about 5 or so maybe 5.30 and still not hungry by the time I finish. So I um, have really noticed the difference as far as my eating habits are concerned once I added that additional protein. Now we're supposed to have about 70 grams per day for women. So um, that's a lot, but if you don't start that day off, and that was the difference between what I was doing and what I'm doing now, not adding that protein would like plummet my insulin level and I would feel like completely uh, drowsy and groggy all day. So adding that, just shifting that a little bit with making sure that, you know, whether it's a smoothie and adding Greek yogurt or smoothie and adding some protein powder or having some eggs um, and sausage, you know, that protein in the morning has really made a difference in my life. So number five, I have learned through some research and talking to my trainer that making sure that I do the circuit before I do my cardio will help me burn more calories after my workout. So I will alternate between my legs and then I will do my arms and shoulders and back the next day and um, I'm always doing something as far as my abs are concerned because I'm tired of being 20 months pregnant and so this baby must be delivered <laughs> okay I'm sorry 
I, y'all, I'm, this this bothers me more than anything. I keep a behind the rest of my life. I promise you, I'll be fine. But this abs, they have got to go. This, this ain't not even abs. This pregnancy that I've been blaming the twins for for 21 years and Janae for 12, it's got to go. Got to go. It's got to get out of here. It's got to go. So, got to go. I don't. It's got to go. I, I'm tired of it. I don't want to do this anymore. I want it gone. If I could figure out how to safely remove it myself, I would have done it a long time ago. So they said the only way that I could get it off was to exercise and to eat right. And so that's what I'm doing. Last but not least, water, 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 and more water, and water, water, water. <laughs> water. So my friend Tanisha actually got me both of these cups. She's going to freak out. But anyway, um, I keep this one in my office. And nine times out of ten, it follows me to my bedroom. But I keep this one in my bedroom so I can always have some water. And then I use the plastic bottles. Sorry to anybody that might be upset with me with the plastic bottles. But because I go on sites on my day job, I'm so scared that I'm going to lose these or leave them that I just take plastic water bottles and if I leave them they can just chuck them and you know no harm no foul so um these are always filled to the brim I love water um I wasn't always a water drinker I would drink water but not like I drink it now so I try to get in at least four of these which is a little over probably about nine glasses a day or so because it's a little bit bigger um, or I'll do four of the plastic bottles, which are about 16 and some change of ounces um, with each one of the water, plastic water bottles. So um, I definitely get enough water. I probably need to add a little bit more just because of my weight. I don't like using public restrooms, so I have to kind of make sure that I don't I don't want to go. I don't like going to them. They're nasty. I'm a germaphobe and I don't like them. So I spread out my water so therefore I can go to the bathroom in the comfort of my own clean bathroom. So there you have it. <laughs> so anyway, um, those are the things that I have kind of implemented and changed. Um, I will continue to update you guys. Make sure you leave your comments below and share some of the things that you've changed on your weight loss journey. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification button. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And until next time, butterflies, love you.